Hey guys, Dom here, back with another game of Elder Scrolls Legends, but this time with a deck which kind of uses a lot of swarm mechanics, as well as some sacrificing and quite a lot of conjuration to summon Atronax. Now, I kind of made this deck as I wanted to make a tribunal deck, as I do like the tribunal gods a lot, but this one regrettably only has Sofa Sil because I'm kind of low on soul gems, and I don't really want to be spending more than one deck. But as you can see, this deck's quite good at just kind of having destruction cards on your opponent as well as a lot of swarm mechanics which really do make this deck a lot better it's also got quite a bit of draw power and some really powerful cards if you magic a boost so yeah let's see how this goes in an actual match okay I'm gonna put down my bets now that's gonna be Alduin's Apocalypse I am willing to put down a whole 50p for that Okay, this sounds pretty neat, so we might just keep it. Oh, good and crispy. See, Prophet of Bones is an excellent card, but we're not going to be playing it for quite a while, despite being a one cost. And Scouting Patrol is just an easy first move. Ah, oh, now. I'm tempted to hold back a turn, because I've got Room of Profiteer, and I can play that turn 2, and then Scouting Patrol turn 3, and then I'll start getting some help from it as well. Is someone out there? Preparations have been made. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe my theory of this being Alden's Apocalypse has been f quenched by that midnight snack over there. Is someone out there? And another midnight snack, excellent. Get back, I say. Now, what we can do with our hand is scouting patrol and soul split to gain more health. Soldiers, report. Your orders. How can I serve? I'll profit from your death. You may be wondering why I hit that grunt. Well, honestly, I'd say that's an excellent question, and I can't really answer that. <laughs> I guess I just thought that one hadn't been the best of people, so, you know, we'll go with him. That, and now we have four points directly attacking him. Knowledge. Get back, I say! That's a good draw, and we can't kill the dragon, unfortunately. So, just gonna have to hit directly. Might as well play this card as well, You're so we can draw power. Rid of me that easily. Excellent. Now, we got quite a few good conjuration cards in our hand for summoning, as well as some um, good destruction cards for just removing cards that we don't like. So, we got a good balance here, but nothing too floody of cards to see at once. Who goes Except for my bones, obviously. Awaiting your command. Awaiting your command. Have another. I will return. Mm. Mage tricks, promising, I suppose. More conjuration mages, excellent. Gonna be swarming this guy with flame matronax. Might give him PTSD after this duel. No offense to those who have it. Gotta play Take it safe positions. on YouTube. Don't wanna get demonetized. Don't even have adverts, but oh well. Don't wanna get, I don't know, smacked yeah. by the YouTube community. Kill them all! No offense to you guys. I think Prophet of Bones would be quite good for this turn just to stall. I could either do it on this side so I could smack him a lot, or do it this side to hold back, which is probably the safer and better of the two options. You know that moment when you do something really cool and then they just do like a really good counter and it makes you feel super bad about yourself? Yeah. Pretty much just that. 
just them. And thus the wall hath been destroyed. Attack. We have the advantage. The longer the odds, the sweeter the victory. Right, we're gonna need to play on the defensive for now. Good thing is we do have a lot of removal right now. I'm not playing Mummified just yet because there will be better cards later on to use that against. Now, obviously, I would want Prophet of Bones to kill Calf Spire Dragon, but I would protect the god. Kill them all. Now that Argonian bro on the Shadow Lane might be an excellent Mummified target. And we also draw Mud Crab Merchant. What a lovely card. Okay, we've also got a fallback plan as well. Good. Oh, that is perfect. So we're going to take Dawnbreaker very clearly, and they're going to get imprisoned Death Lord, which if they summon, we just use Dawnbreaker to kill. My friend would like to say also, because Imprisoned Death Lord costs a lot, it means he's going to have to use most of his magic to play it, holding him back a turn as well. That was beautiful. Okay, anyone who doesn't love Mud Crab Merchant is just wrong now. He's taken the bait. All he's got to do is leave one creature alive on my side, and it's gone. Doesn't look like he's gonna do that though, which might be an issue. I think one of the temple conjurers might have to be a bit wasted. Make your peace, dog. Kill them all. Um, oh, well, I guess Dawnbreak is obviously the obvious first choice, and Midnight Sweeps can be quite good for just holding him back. Perfect, we played a lot of cards, and we still got ample in hand, and we're going to start dealing some damage to him. This is going to be good. We just need to clear those dragons, and then we're going to start being able to start pounding him for some real damage. Apologies for just clicking, then I got bored. The options are real here. Well, I mean, I guess we could play something that costs six and North Point Captain. Get ready to move. I stand ready. All power flows from oh, the God. The light of the three. <sighs> well. Oof. That was upsetting. <laughs> kind of curious why I didn't kill the Atronach there. That would have been much better for him. Time to die. <laughs> no mercy. We're saving the Temple Conjurer for a bit, just so we can get the Supreme Atromaxes. But never mind, actually, let's do that now. All power flows I from the stars. That must have sounded really good. Oh boy. 
The issue is, he's summoning a lot of dragons, so if he happens to luck out and draw Alduin, we're gonna need the Heart of Lorcan as like a backup plan. You are not worth it. Who goes there? Interesting choice of him. Quite cool, but not what I would have liked. We're really hanging on here. This is this is tense. Is there singing in the book? Okay, what are we gonna get? That's good. That's also good. So if we play Corsair ship, and then the Midnight Sweep, and then Fifth Legion Trainer and Soul Split, we can swarm. Training back is over. It's time to act. But we don't want to Soul Split just yet, actually, because of Supreme Matrimonsa. I slay the unworthy. Storm coming. Nicely done. Identify yourself. Thank you. The wall has risen once again. <laughs> the waters of life. Take your positions. This is looking promising. Should have been more worthy. End over the coin. We're gonna need to play Supreme Atromancer into Crassius's favor. The reason why we're gonna do that is because we need the like what's the word? We need Nicely the health. Done. Thank you. You are outmatched. Thank you, National Health Service, for all this help. The nice I'll thing here is we've got a really I'll good engine set up, so we're kind of driving that very powerful force forward as well as dealing direct damage every time we summon something. This all works so nicely together. Zero the You know that moment when everything you love is just taken from you right in front of you? Yeah, it's pretty much how I feel. Thing is, if he can't kill that, I've just won. So, let's see how it goes. But that really did destroy an entire, really effective engine. Like, one soul split would have won me the game with that. That's just disappointing. Beautiful draw into the sofa sill. I am a mirror. The tribunal gods come when they are needed, people. And it's the only one on the deck, so. Apologies for that. You did kind of get clickbaited in a bit. I apologize. But at the same time, I'm not really that sorry. I need the views. No offense. At the ready. Still going strong, but I don't think you realize that these guys Thank have you. breakthrough. The awakened imperfects. You may be wondering why I'm playing Lanoff right now, it's because I've partially forgotten what's actually in this deck. I mean, there's some cool cards here. 
Really nice. I recommend giving this a go if you're still watching. Thank you for watching this far as well. You're all champs. Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots back up, perhaps? Right, well, in that smash, that's the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, and I hope I will see you next time.